everyone welcome back to my channel so in this video we have janvi with us she is currently working as business analyst at amazon so sometimes you know we figure out that software development is not a cup of tea we do not want to go to software uh, into software development so we can go into uh, one such field business analysis so before going forward this video is sponsored by simply clarify so let's learn more about simply clarify so simply clarify is a platform where you can seek one to one guidance from mentors across the world so there are different topics in which you can have discussion on profile building resume reviewing social media channel gre gmat so there are different topics which you can have discussion with the mentors if you have doubts related to any of the fields jobs higher education entrepreneurship so you can book one to one session with mentors who are working in different companies and studying in different colleges across the world so the sessions are around 30 minutes long you can also contact with your alumni on this platform and you can see guidance from them so what are you waiting for if you have doubts related to any of these fields you can book your next session on simply life so hi janvi hey thanks for having hi. me so uh, janvi can you give us a brief introduction about yourself Hey, sure. So uh, I am from India. I am from Gujarat. Um, I um, during my uh, childhood, my dad moved around a lot, and so I moved around with him. So that meant a lot of different schools, different people, uh, different festivals, different languages. Made me the person that I am today. Happy to have been there. Uh, for my undergrad, I went to uh, VIT, Vellore. I graduated twenty nineteen. Um, so during my six uh, like. During my uh, final semester, I did a six-month internship at Associated Generale, uh, which is a French bank, and that was mainly into software development. Uh, post my uh, undergrad, I joined ZS Associates full time. There, I was working as a decision analytics associate, which was the official title. But basically, it was mainly about um, analytics consulting for uh, big pharma companies, um, helping them drive their sales and marketing campaigns. So. Um, more recently it's been about 5 uh, months i think i uh, joined amazon uh, here i'm working as a business analyst as you mentioned um, and mainly heading the uh, speed program uh, for multiple geographies where amazon feels that there's a lot of opportunity um yeah so thanks for having me that's me okay so as you mentioned that uh, you uh, passed out from vit vellore and your you you was uh, like your branch was computer science right yeah Okay, that's great. So, can you give us a brief uh, introduction that what you do in Amazon and what's it all about? Uh, at Amazon, I'm uh, the tools that I mainly work with are uh, obviously Excel is the like bread and butter for any analytical person. Then uh, SQL. Uh, I uh, have recently developed the expertise of Tableau. Uh, it's a great tool. Did not know that it was. Um, and uh, yeah, so I I also dabble a little into Python. um sometimes r and uh, what i do is basically i work with program and product managers in different countries uh, i work in a global team and i help them achieve uh, their goals of uh, achieve, uh, you know reaching reaching certain targets in the matrices that uh, would help amazon serve their customers better okay that's great so uh, earlier you mentioned in your introduction that janvi you were working you worked as a six uh, intern a six months intern in uh, software development company it was a software development internship then why did you thought of going into this field like analytics field instead of going in software development sure so uh, what happened was that during my undergrad i um, came across the isb ylp program uh, which gave me the opportunity to um, apply for the mba program in my undergrad and then a uh, join after 20 months so you know usually people say that you should go for your mba with certain work experience and this gave me the golden opportunity to do to do so and uh, i took that up i got an admit now after i got the admit i started thinking about the bigger picture like what do i want to do in life right and uh, isp has a very strong consulting um program like placements and etc so uh, wanting to leverage that and wanting to have my pre mba work experience uh, correspond to that uh, i uh, you know came across zs associates i recruited there and i got in uh, so basically i came to zs with the intent of getting into consulting but i stayed and i loved it because of analytics so i love working with data i feel like it tells uh, it gives you insights 
uh, which would otherwise not be possible, um, helps you identify the issues, fix them, and uh, make the entire firm, the team, work more efficiently. Okay, that's that's great. So, uh, Janvi, earlier you mentioned that you got through uh, IESB YLP program at your undergrad. So, can you tell more about that? Sure. So, uh, as I mentioned, uh, it's a deferred admit program. Meaning, um, like, for example, when you give um, CAT uh, for uh, IMs, you have to, uh, you give CAT in November and then you get the admit and then you join uh, maybe next year, June sometime. So, but in ISP YLP, the case is that you get the admit and then you wait for a couple of years, you go get the work experience because no one in the class, uh, uh, in the MBA class at ISP will have less than two years of work experience. So you go out there, you get the work ex, and then you come back uh, for the MBA, you come back to the school, you study, and then you um, make something out of yourself. So that's the case with ISP YLP. Um, I gave my GMAT uh, in 2018, which, which was in my pre-final year. And I got a 750, which uh, like really helped me get uh, the uh, admit that I really wanted. And yeah, that's about the program. Okay, so uh, Janvi, like uh, for those who want to pursue MBA or those who want to go for GMAT and everything, so how you can help them through Simply Clarify? Sure. So um, what I feel that I can help people with uh, and having helping people over the past three years, uh, I feel like people need to know the bigger picture in life. Uh, at least try and understand. See, no one knows the answers now. Even I don't. But you should keep on making those significant efforts to figure out the bigger picture in life and uh, take your decisions accordingly. Uh, people need to understand that every decision, every career-related decision that they take uh, has bigger repercussions. So, uh, you know, I feel like what I can help people with is ask the right questions to them, make them think about uh, the... Uh, you know, the future. And then, uh, because, uh, you know, I know a fair bit about MS, uh, because my friends are there. I know a fair bit about uh, not just MS in CS, MS in business analytics. I know a fair bit about MBA in India, MBA abroad. Um, what I can uh, help people with is just explore those options, make sure that they are thinking about all the options before they take a decision. And that decision does not necessarily have to be MBA. Now, many people after talking to me have decided that they don't want to do MBA and that's totally cool and that's right for them. So um, yeah, I think that is how I can help them that through the conversation, I can ask the right questions. I can give them the right parameters and uh, they can decide for themselves. And uh, yeah, so they can reach out to me through um, the Simply Clarify website and they can book a session with me. Okay, so it was great having you, Janvi. It was a great interactive uh, session with you. I hope students can uh, take help from you and uh, they'll uh, get to know more about what it, they do, want to do in future. So thank you for uh, coming, Janvi, and it was a pleasure talking with you. Yeah, the pleasure was all, was all mine. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, okay, thank you.